Hi, John with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at Moride Sliding Utility Tray. This is going on our 2012 Tiffin Allegro. Now these trays are really convenient for your lower bay doors like this. They do slide out. They are ball bearing uh, slides. They can handle up to 250 pounds. They're great uh, if you have battery banks in here that you need to service or um, a lot of your your RV generators are about this footprint here um, and they're great to be able to pull this tray out to either service or fill the gas on your generator. Um, there are four different sizes available that fit this Tiffin. Now these trays can be used for a variety of applications so you can pretty much pick the size that you want and go with that. We did reinforce the floor on our Tiffin. It just has this kind of a thin fiberglass plastic um, floor on it. So you may want to do the same thing. It definitely sturdied it up. Um, and like I said, a variety of applications. So we have an application like this where we're using this for a cooler. You know, these things, once they get loaded up, weigh quite a bit. And so it's nice to be able to just have this thing and instead of bending over and reaching in and wrenching your back out before a nice trip, set it there, slide it in, close the door. I would say that these really should be indoors um, or at least in a cargo compartment like this. I'm not sure if it's really designed to be outside in the elements. Um, however, the uh, it does come with two straps. It doesn't come with any hardware. You'd have to pick up your own hardware to install it, but it does lock into place. You lift up a single knob and slide the whole thing out. These are ball bearing rollers. So that's nice. Once you get a lot of weight in here, it still slides easy. Um, and also when you go to close it, it will securely lock in and not come sliding out on you. So my final thoughts on the sliding utility trays. I, I think they have their place. Um, as far as like a battery tray or a generator tray and for some heavy stuff like that. I'm not sure if this application is the best application, um, but it just depends. Like I said, these things, you can use them for so many different things. Um, I think they're pretty well built. I do like the, the ball bearing slides on it. I like just one knob to unlock it. Um, and they install really easy as well. So if you'd like to see how we installed this on our Tiffin, stick around. Let's get started with our install. Now, uh, we're installing the utility tray down here on the lower storage compartments in our motorhome here. We strengthened the floor with some plywood. Um, we thought that was a good idea. This plastic or fiberglass is pretty thin um, in spots. And when we're bolting this down, we just really want a secure connection. This, these can hold up to 250 pounds. Um, and they come out with 100% extension. So when we're out all the way, and if we have that much weight, we really need to uh, support this system. So we decided to go ahead and throw some plywood in here. Now, these trays just come like this. There's no hardware included. Um, so you're gonna have to supply your own hardware. We went ahead and used two and a half inch long 5 16 carriage bolts, some washers, and nylock lock nuts and this seems to work pretty good for us. We have um, some spaces in here are, are thicker than others so once we get underneath the vehicle if we think these are sticking out too far we can go ahead and cut this off. Now installation is going to be easy enough. I have a 5 16 drill bit and we're simply going to place the tray where we want it. I had marked earlier um, we weren't looking exactly to center it in here, but we are going to favor having it come as close as possible um, to the front. This way we get maximum extension out from the bay door here. So we'll even this up. And if you look down in the tray here, you'll see the, where we're going to drill already. They already have these pre-cut slots here, so you can do this without moving the tray. I thought that was kind of nice. So I'm going to go ahead and drill. We'll take our carriage bolt. And then from underneath, we use the washer and the nylock locking nut. And 
I'll just snug this up a little bit here. Now I didn't tighten this one down too much. We can still move this and center it, make sure that nothing moved. And one other thing that you didn't see on camera um, is I was able to set this and then close the door to make sure that it was going to fit. So you can do that. You can open up your other bay door if you need to and peek around to see and make sure you're not going to interfere with the door. So we got this set. Go ahead and make drill another hole. Just repeat this process here. So I'll slide this tray back and you can see that we can add up to four bolts per side. In our application here I'm just going to do the four corners. We're not going to be storing anything particularly heavy in this tray. Of course if you have a heavier generator or if you're going to put heavier items in here go ahead and feel free to use all eight slots on this tray. And that's going to do it for our installation here of the Moorride sliding utility tray on our 2012 Tiffin Allegro.